with you one more time. And with us tonight on our very special show, we have Mr. Ray Witt on the accordion. An absence of what? Uh, just a month or so, and he's at me already. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back to us one more time. And I stumble on it all over the place here, right? Are you cut that out, Bray? No, no, I'll keep it going. Not cutting nothing out. Not cutting out nothing? No. All right, well, let her go then. Yep. Well, let her rip. Raw. What you're going to see today, ladies and gentlemen, is the raw thing. Nothing cut at all, nothing. Whatever we do is going in, that's it. No. And why we're kind of a little bit excited here, and we got a reason for being excited today. We got a show that we're putting together. We, we're, we just put this together in the last 20 or 25 minutes. So it's going to be rough. And the reason is that we got a call a few days ago from the CBC in Ottawa saying, we want to come down and do something with you. We didn't know what it was they want to do with us, but we found out just shortly afterwards that on the road again, was interested in coming down and having a look at it, seeing what we're doing. They thought they might learn something from us, and, and, and we think they might. So we got her going, short notice, and the happy thing about it that we have to tell you is that Wayne Ronstead was going to be with us very soon as a special guest on our show. We are probably not going to be on his, he's going to be on ours. So that's coming very, very soon, so stay tuned to that. And in the meantime, we'll get to our own boys and bring Bernard up and he's going to do a little tune called, I've Been Lonesome. I've been lonesome, I've been empty. I've got to make it way down inside. I need someone, someone to hold. Go down the street, turn out the lights, and we'll meet the night.
again in a few minutes. Bernard, as you know, is the uh, Trey Finger Newfie, as we like to call him sometimes. And he'll be back in a minute, and he'll be doing a song from his latest tape. We won't tell you what it is, but he'll be doing one. You probably so, don't know. I don't know, no. No. Well, Bernard knows. I don't know what it is. They don't tell me nothing, as you know. I know the ball. And it's going to be another day, if it Barry boy. And, uh, you know, we picked a, we didn't pick a day. Or the boys picked a day to, to come and see us. And it's got to be the, the only day we had the summer. And it's about, what, 200 there? 200 degrees here, and it ain't easy. And it ain't easy for me, and how tough it is for the singers and the, and the, and the players, I wonder. Anyhow, however how tough it is, that's it. It's the way it's gonna be. And we're gonna bring Gord up now, and let's see the sweat running out of Gord, it's the silver uh, bullet, uh, is it Gord? As he likes to be called, and I don't know if he likes to be called, but that's what they call him anyhow, silver bullet. And he's gonna do Proud Fisherman, Gord.
to Gord right out with the little thing called Proud Fisherman. What a lovely job it was. Gord boy, gonna have Gord back too, of course, in a little minute. Now, remember all. Stay looking on, buddy. Remember uh, all winter was telling you how hot it was? Forget it. It wasn't hot at all the winter. Good Today enough. it's hot. And on top of all that, we got the cameramen, soundmen, producers, and all the rest of them here in our face, like this fellow right now. Yeah, there he is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, he's not pretty looking. He's not good enough looking for <laughs> Newfoundland. He's not pretty looking. He's not good enough looking for Newfoundland, is he, bud? Now, you got to be in one of the mainlanders. Yeah. All right. We are going to uh, go to uh, a prettier face, Barry. Yes, indeed. Your faces. You got that right. And then, uh, matter of fact, the, the only lady that we have with us today. Where are you going, buddy? Okay. I'm still here, and I. Yeah. Yes, boy. Come on, I can have you lost. <laughs> no one Barry, you know, like I do. He can lose you. We're going to have. Uh, Irene Bridger come up to the mic now, and she's going to do a little thing called, Oh, What It Did To Me. Irene? again. Yeah. Okay, Irene, lovely job, as usual. Irene has got to go to work, by the way, and but we're going to have her back one more time. We, we might have to get her back quickly. I don't know how the time is going. 
going slow. Yeah, it's going slow is right. Well, we're going to have her back uh, quickly. When she says, I got to go to work, we'll get her in, in right away. Hmm. Uh, Barry, before we carry on to the next election, I, I want to say a, a special thank you to a lady who wishes not to be named up in Bayview, who sent me a nice pair of double mall balls. Double mall mitts? Double ball oh. gloves. Oh, that's a double mall mitt, so you're going to beat rocks up, you know? No? No. Okay. Gloves. <laughs> Well, I say, eat your heart out, Carl Wells. <laughs> <laughs> and on that, we're going well, to Carl another Carl. Now, buddy. <laughs> we're going to another Carl, the boss man, Carl Herridge. And he's going to do a little thing called Outport People. Carl. <laughs> That was the boss band, Carl. Here is a little thing called Out Poor People. And I'll tell you that every word in that song is certainly true. No doubt about it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if we're coming through kind of kind of fuzzy and, and strange and the colors are all coming and going and all that sort of thing, don't worry about it because we're doing something that we haven't done before. We're doing this in the daylight. And you know that Barry don't come out very often during the daylight, so he's... No, no, I've seen you too many times. He's got a little problem. He's got a little problem with, with the lighting, so... <laughs> However... I've we'll, seen you too many times. But we'll chuck that in for what it's worth. <laughs> and on that, we will bring Wallace Pilly up to the mic, and he's going to do a thing called Sunny's Dream. Wallace? <laughs>
today, the one and only, the host of On the Road Again, Mr. Wayne Rostad. Wayne. Thank you. Hey. Hey. It's, so nice to, uh, it's so nice to be here in uh, Twilligate. This is a, a very, uh, this is a very special kind of night. This is very special. The last time I was here was 1976. Ping whistle. Pick a whistle, yeah, you there? Yeah. <laughs> you were the guy. Yeah, I was going to need, yeah, yeah. Well, listen to that. I don't care. Pick a whistle, 1976. Um, would you all help me with the song? Oh, definitely. For sure. Okay, okay. This is going to be a little different for um, Out in the Store. I'm sure. Are you ready for this? I want you all to just, first of all, we're going to do a G key. There's no rehearsal. There's no rehearsal whatsoever. Just give me a G key, boys. It's a long way to travel. You want to make sure that you get your licks in. Well, we realize that, yeah. <laughs> I had an idea to do something like... Come on in, give me a cheeky voice. Well, now here we are, 
I'll gather up in the store. We're going to see what kind of condition your buddy's condition is in. Now there was a boy from Twiddling Gate who wouldn't listen to his dog. And she said, Sonny boy, you better go to school. I love it. 
Out the store. I love it. Out in the store. So please, wear it. Well, thank you. I'll just expand on it just a little well, bit. Well, I thought you might. Pop it on the head. <laughs> You're probably going to be here now. Nice. I just you do the I just store. Yeah, the head is right. <laughs> <laughs> the shirt is right. Perfect. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh it's it's not right. <laughs> well, listen, we'll... Uh, you can it's amazing how live television, nothing works the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Well, that's it. Boy, it's looking good on you. Thank you, sir. You look about 10% better. I appreciate that a lot. Okay. Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. 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 And uh, we hope that you will find a reason to come back into Tulligate real, real soon. We would certainly love to have you back again, maybe back on one of our shows again sometime. Hopefully the next time you give us a little more notice. That's all we ask. A little bit more. Oh, that much? Now, Barry, there's something to get my attention here. What is that, buddy? Well, whatever gets, what gets my attention and gets your attention. Yeah. Grow. Grow. Scar. The scar, see? Aha. And, and I can get, get camera over Okay, but I'm coming. Camera over there. Yeah. What, what, what do we got? What do we got today, Graham? Moose. Moose. Yes, sir. Moose. That's, that's the real wow. stuff. The fine, proper fine. stuff. Fine, that's fine. Yeah, I suppose now what's happening now, see, we're, we're getting on the late part of the season, out of the summer, and, and fellas are starting to clear out the freezers and getting ready to put the other one in there. We're trying, though. Yeah. Yeah. But it looks super good, though. Well, we, we won't refuse it. Oh, good Lord, no. Uh, that's for what's sure. There, what's, the, what's the waste of there? That, that's, uh, that's a bit of fat pork. You got to go in the pan. That's salt fat pork. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. They got, they got to have that with the moose. Have or you might as well take the moose and chuck it right over the door. It's no good. No good. No good without no, the fat pork. Junior, main ingredient right there. No, no, not, not exactly. Well, no, well, not exactly. It's well. close, but there's one other thing, the main ingredient. Now, what's that? It's, it's the main ingredient that we always got the problem with. You know that? Onions. <laughs> I want them. Oh, All right, oh, I got a few in Now I can be quiet. We got oh, onions oh. today, and I'm happy. I'm happy. For the first time since we've been doing these shows, I'm happy. Well, we we've, had, happy. we've had little tiny onions. We've had sacks of onions. Mm -hmm. We've ever had the right amount of onions. Today we got the right amount. We got a new cook on the job, by the way. This fellow knows what he's doing. He got a couple of green peppers up there too. The fellow's better yeah. be satisfied. Well, I think we will be, because <laughs> but the thing is we gotta try out the new cook. We're not yeah. saying nothing yet until she's done. Good. And we test it out. Got a bit of bread to go with it, a bit of homemade bread. Lots of bread? That, got a bit? Yes, sir. Oh, buddy, look at that. Look. I Fine suppose your time. wife baked that this morning before you came over. No, sir. I think no? your wife baked that. Well, I no, she told. didn't. No, no, I don't think she did, but no. But anyhow, no matter who's wife baked it, I'm sure it's going to be perfect. Along with all that stuff there, parents, mm -hmm. we're going back to music again. Yes, we're sir. going to let you start cooking. All right. How about that? I'll do it. We'll check on her in a minute. Good enough. All right, buddy. Okay, Barry, let's go back and see what we got lined up. All right, back to music said we were going to go, and we are going to go to music. We got the meat in the pan. She's starting to <clears throat> sizzle pretty good. We're going to bring Harold up with all the boys. Backing him up, and he's going to do the wreck of the old 97. Earl. <laughs> Oh, 
just fine. We'll just be okay, right? Stay still. You know what's that? <laughs> Earl and the boys, record 197. Wonderful job. Super job. Perfect. Gonna have you back again in a minute. Barry, uh, there's uh, all the boys outside there that's looking into the door. With half a dozen, you come on, grab hold of Barry, and keep him out of the frying pan. He's pinching the meat. Good. That is, that's enough. Eight of guys, you should do it. Yeah, sure, fellas, Barry. Barry, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to. Ray in a second on the keyboard, and Ray's going to do something that I've been trying to get him to do for, for uh, three or four days. Before we do that, we've got to have a word from our sponsor. Okay. Tony Gadotto Supplies. I was in there today, and they said they, uh, they've agreed to continue to sponsor us for as long as we put these programs on the air, and I think that's darn good. Isn't it, boys? Yes, sir. Is that good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I guarantee you. Now, they've been... Yeah, give them a little hand for them. They, they've helped us in the in the past, and we appreciate everything they they've done for us, and uh, they're going to continue to do it, and we and we love it. What they said to me today is that look, boy, middle of the summer, not much we got to advertise. Just tell the boys that uh, we're going to be backing you up all the way. Said we got a few uh, outboard motors in there still that we, if you want to come in, have a look at it. Great stuff. Looks like we might get a bit of summer by and by. We got a summer day today. But they said I know this is not going to go down too good after the, the summer that we've had. It's been more like a winter. But they said, we want all the listeners to know that we are going to bring in skidoos for 94. Well, what an awful time to be talking about bringing in skidoos. But they want to tell you that they're going to do it. And the reason they want to tell you right now is that they're going to bring them all in at one time of year. There's not going to be half a dozen come in now and then another half a dozen. They're going to bring the whole lot. Whatever many they're going to have, they're going to bring them all in one time. And when they're gone, I'm sorry, they said, but that's it. They won't be able to order anymore. So if you got it in your mind to get a skidoo for 94, uh, just go in and see Jack and the boys in there and place your order. And from that, Twenty Get All Supplies, thank you very much for sponsoring us again this, this coming year. We're going to go right to Ray on the keyboard. He's going to do one of Wilson Canning's, we don't know the name of it, we call it the other one. I don't know. And the other one is what it is. Raven.
nice job, buddy. That's very nice. You know, we got to learn the name of that. Just in case down the road somebody uh, wants us to do it again, you know? Right. Then again, if they call and said, I'll go up the other one, we'll know exactly what it is, right? Right. Guaranteed, buddy. Now we're going to bring Gord up, the silver bullet, up yes. to the mic. And Gord just told me he's got to get on the road again. Now, I suppose he just said that because we had the crew in there, and he probably wouldn't have come up with that line otherwise. No, 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 i got to go, seriously. He's got a big load of capelin' <laughs> to go somewhere or another. So we're going to take a chance on him. I still think he wants to go over with Barry and pick the meat out of his hand. But yeah, okay. We're watching. I'll have a little meat before I go. we got six guys that are watching you now, buddy. <laughs> okay. So you're going to do the Knoxville go uh, girl, is it, Gord? Right on, yeah. Okay, then. Let's see you. And here you do it. Okay, right on.
Barry was picking it out of the pan. Parents, is there anything at all left for us? My son, he got almost all gone. With, with, all. with the six fellows that we had hanging on to him. Oh, the shocking. And we still couldn't hold him, right? No, sir. And we got no. the biggest part of the eat. Yep. There, that one was empty. Yeah, you got that one. Yep. That one, he got, got that one. one. Yep. And what we got left in there? Well, hardly we enough. We caught it before we got it is. There's hardly enough for anybody, is there? Boy, there's a nibble there. Let's see. Is that yeah. those boys from uh, Wayne and, and the boys from um, well, on the road again? They're not going to get a bit of this, are they? Well, uh, they've been nibbling too, you know. Ah. No, there's Sly. It, yeah, Sly. maybe we shouldn't blame it all on Barry then. Uh, well, maybe not all of it. All right. No, sir. Oh, boy, well, Clarence, you yeah. hold that somewhere. Hang well, on. This is not going nowhere. You, know, you keep that there. And it's going it's nowhere. That was your bread, Get out of that. Get out of that. You're not getting it. Barry? Hey. Cut it, Barry. This, this, Clarence is going to have to take this over and lock it up. Yes, sir. I'll have to, I don't know. And he can do it, too. And yeah, I know we can do it. Yep. Until we get off the show, we got about four more or yep. five more selections to go. Parents, yeah, take it in right, right there. And, and lock her up if yep. you got to, right? I'll get so the boys to pick this up. Yep. Good enough. Lock it yep. up. Give them a shout. Yeah. Yeah. Right What's on next, everybody? That's done. Right. Our next is Barry. I am not entirely sure. You hang on a sec now. You pass over the papers to me. How's that? If there's that much racket going on, I think we're going to bring parents. What? Did you, you know, you never had time to make a phone call. No. But you got to get up now. Okay, you lock her up. And uh, lock you, you got to go up now and do the fiddler's great. Oh, my God, almighty. Yes, it. No, sir. Okay. Put the, the lock on. Put the lock on the pan right there. Yeah, we'll have to lock that point up here. Right there. Put the lock on the pan right there. That's it. Yeah, right. You lock up. No. And, and you get up to the mic now and do the fiddler's great. Yep. Yeah. Good enough, buddy. All right.
Clarence See? doing Fiddler's Green. And a nice job it was, Clarence. Nice job on the books, too, Bob. Excellent. We got, a, we got a cook for the winter, I believe. We're going to bring Bernard, ask Bernard to come up now to the mic, and he's going to do a little instrumental called the Wildwood Flower. But just before we get to Bernard, we have to tell you once again about Tony and Auto Supplies, our sponsor. Uh, over the uh, past seven or eight months that we've been uh, doing these programs, and as I mentioned to you earlier tonight, they're going to continue to sponsor us for as long as we can stay on the air. And that's great, and we do appreciate it. We want Tony and Auto Supplies to know that we do appreciate it. Just want to mention that uh, they do have some outboard motors in there that we, they'd like you to come in and have a look at. But the most important thing they want me to say to you is that this September, they're bringing in their skidoos in late in September and they're just bringing the whole lot in in one shot so there's no chance after they're gone to saying, boy, I want a skidoo because they just aren't able to bring them in. I don't know what's going on. There's some kind of a deal on go. They got to bring them all in in one shot. So if you got it in your mind to get a brand new skidoo for 94, you best go in very soon, get your name down, say, boys, I think I'm gonna, gonna want one. Get your name down on the book, get an order there, because if you don't, you could be out of luck. Tony get out of supplies, right here in Twingate. Okay, uh, uh, Bernard. You're gonna do the wild bass cannonball as well as the wildwood flower. Yeah. Jumbled up together, I suppose. All right. Whatever you say, let her go. has gone down and the lighting has got much better except Barry's got a big old one on top of the camera now staring him in the face. We'll try to live with it. We only got a little bit more to go. We'd like to ask Lloyd to come up now and do our uh, gospel selection for the night. For all those who are watching us, we won't specify anybody tonight, but for everybody, all our viewers everywhere, we're going to have Lloyd do when I'm tossing on life's sea. Lloyd? When I'm tossed on my sea And the waves cover me And the dark clouds of one the sun shine through Then a voice seems to say Child, there be a brighter day Don't allow the clouds too high to 
that one, Paper Rosie. Lovely job. As usual. Lovely job. Barry, boy, uh, I don't know it's a long day, Junior. It's a hard day. I'm a long day, yep. and I mean long, long, and hard, hard day. For us. You just had to be here to believe what it's been like. Not the show now. Oh, no. Not the, the show. The day. The day. No. The things that we've gone through today is, uh, <laughs> is something else. On the road and, again. Uh, yeah, on the road again. And we're sorry that we're a little bit short, and we're sorry it's a little bit rough. It was probably a whole lot rough, but uh, it's the way it's been. It's been a, been a mess. See you see it here. Yep, the CBC will do it to you every time. But anyhow, the, the good thing out of that is we're going to be on the road again, on the road show. And that's something you should be watching for probably around October. October is it. Yeah, they're going to let us know and we're going to let you know when it's going to be. And we hope you all uh, get to the TV sets and watch us. What we're going to do now is a little thing we did in the stadium uh, on Saturday. We had a, believe it or not, Clarence Blank. We had a lot of requests for that one since Saturday, and it's not too long ago. A couple days ago, yeah. Give yourself a little pat there, buddy. And we're gonna and we're gonna take it away on that one. It's called the Rattling Bug, and we're gonna have Clarence take it away, and that'll be the last one for tonight. And on behalf of all the boys here, we'd like to say thank you once again for watching us. We're gonna try to be regular again, as regular as we can, once a month or something. And until then, may the good Lord bless each and every one of you, real good. Clarence.
job there, buddy. Good job. 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 Good job.